So the next deck I want to show you is um, the Bone Fire Tarot, and I was just waiting with bated breath for this deck to be released. It was kind of funny because it was supposed to release, I think, on my birthday or sometime around then, or ship on my birthday, or it was around then. It was the end of November in 2016, and... Um, I don't know, something happened where it was delayed and I was so bummed out. I had to wait like another week or two before, maybe even longer, I can't remember, before it was actually released. And I I even emailed um, the creator, artist, and, you know, she, she's the only person who creates created this desk, deck, Gabby Angus West. I even emailed her. And she was so sweet and she responded to me and told me what was going on and um, seemed like a really nice person and uh, friendly and whatnot. So she's an Australian artist and her artwork is just incredible and amazing. So this deck um, comes in a really nice sort of like, it reminds me of a cigar box. Um, yeah, and it's a little bit more sturdy, you know, than your traditional box, which, you know, can start falling apart. Um, I've been, you know, kind of flip-flopping it a lot, so this these are starting to detach a little bit, but I can just glue those. It's no big deal. Um, I do like the box. It's pretty sturdy, and like I say, like a cigar box, and it comes with a gorgeous book. I mean, this is more than your little, you know, booklet. This is a really nice book in itself. It is just like a, a good paperback book. And I like that they, she actually has the cards in the book. Um, like, you know, the visual print of the cards themselves in the book instead of just, you know, the name. Um, I think that's kind of a cool idea. And, um, you know, really easy to understand um, explanations of the card meanings. It's really a great book. I, I can't rave a, about this deck enough. Um, the book is fan fantastic. The box is nice. Um, this lady's artwork is just so amazing. The book fits, fits in the box right on top of the cards. And um, yeah, this is my current favorite deck. So I'm gonna go through this real quick so you can see this just incredible artwork. Every card is a work of art. <laughs> and I mean that so literally. Um, I'm a huge color person and these cards are just the most vibrantly colored cards that I think I've ever seen. And um, the color is vibrant and rich. And I love the black background. Um, and then the artwork itself is so compelling. The symbology is really nice. All of it. I, I just, like I say, I probably just couldn't go on enough about this deck. It is currently my most favorite deck. It's my go-to deck. Um, I really, really enjoy this deck. It's got a very feminine quality to it also. I should mention that. You know, it, it this feels like a feminine deck, um, to me at least. And um, I like that. Um, yeah, so it's just really, you know, um, fantastical and whimsical, but not in a fluffy way. Um, I think she describes her art as sort of, you know, um, the inspiration comes from tattoo art. And I do see that. Can you imagine if she was a t 
if she was a tattoo artist. I don't know if she is, but wow, I would love to get a tattoo from her. This artwork is just incredible. I don't know her history or her background, if, if she was um, a tattoo artist or not. I haven't studied her that closely, but this, I just, I can't imagine adorning this artwork on my walls. It would be amazing and thrilling because I just love to look at it. And, you know, that's what they say about art. You shouldn't um, go for, you know, what other people think is good art. You shouldn't go for artwork that has, you know, financial value judged by someone else. You should always be drawn to art because it appeals to you because it's literally something that you like to look at and that's definitely how i choose art that i like is just i like to look at it it appeals to me it draws me in and her artwork certainly does that for me so i wanted to just quickly run through the whole deck so you can see all the cards and um, really get a feel for her work. You can hear my daughter has her friend over and she's playing with her in her room. So that's what you hear in the background. And, you know, she even does in her book where she's giving descriptions of the cards and explanations of the meanings, she does go into her own symbology and what it means, you know. Um, not every single, you know, little bit, but a lot of it she does explain, which I like too. And... Um, you know, that can help make connections when you're doing readings in your mind. You will remember some of the symbology that she described. And she also will explain, you know, how she incorporated symbology from other traditional decks like the Rider Waite or Toth, etc. Look how pretty that is. love it. I just, ah, oh, I just, I could look at this deck all day. <laughs> I could play with this deck all day. I definitely wish I had more time to do that. It's just so visually pleasing. And I have to say too, that aside from it being visually pleasing, there's just an energy about this deck that I love. It's really just positive yet real and um, it's just an energy I love and I do think you know decks come with their own personal energy and I, and I love the energy of this deck I mean look at that that is incredible so yeah this is my favorite deck right now. And um, I've already gifted it to, I sent both my older daughters, I sent them each a deck, and I sent a deck to my best friend um, as Christmas gifts. I think it makes a really great gift. And um, that's the last card. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little run through of this amazing deck.